Welcome to Dungeon Dwellers Pre-Alpha version 5. Uh, I'm Rasmus Jungren and I'm the creator behind this game. So let's start by digging out some walls so that the imps can start exploring the dungeon. Some of the most visible updates that I've made is that I've raised the walls by 30% so that the player can get a more dungeonish feeling. Also, I have added bump mapping to the models so that they will look a little bit more realistic. I have also added a new construction menu where I can build doors, wells and bridges in the dungeon. They fall into the category that only one tile is needed for them to work. In later updates uh, they will not be created instantly. Instead the dark dwarfs or its upgrades will build them for you. But as I don't have any dark dwarfs right now, I will have to make them myself. I have to apologize for the video as it can be a little bit choppy. That's my video recording software that don't want to play along. And uh, not the game's fault. So, as I uh, play along and let uh, the imps dig and explore, I want to talk about some of the features that will be included in the game. Right now, in the center of the dungeon, there is a standard dungeon heart. It will be replaced in future updates with a creature called uh, the Dark Mother. This creature can be fed by the imps with various resources and when enough resources for creating a certain creature has been eaten by the dark mother she will pu puke out this certain creature. So let's say that you want to create a vampire then you will have to feed the dark mother with dead enemy corpses, crystals, mana potions, a chain armor and a sword. Those resources are not the easiest to come by, but uh, as the vampire is a rather strong creature, he will also be hard to create. Another feature I want to show you guys is that it is possible to dig out the ground and let uh, water that uh, is nearby flow in. This will be perfect when creating a moat around your dungeon, so that the enemies will have it harder to attack. It will also be possible to create some kind of a dam system so that uh, traps can be created uh, and uh, used against your enemies when they enter your territory. And uh, not only water can be led away by digging, but also lava. And uh, that can make a lot of damage on an enemy army. So uh, here we can see the imps are uh, collecting some uh, resources from the ground and uh, running away to the storage room and leaving the items for the player so that he can use them later on. Really hardworking imps. <laughs> it would have been nice having cleaners like that at home. So now I want to show you the prison room. It will work just like in Dungeon Keeper. After you capture an enemy creature he will be transported to the prison. And uh, there the player can either let him die and just uh, use his uh, remains for creating uh, skeletons or vampires. Or he can take them to the torture chamber and uh, see if he can convert him. But uh, it will not be as easy converting creatures as in uh, original Dungeon Keeper. In uh, this game they can only be converted if they are at low level or are unsatisfied with their current master. Here we can see a large view over the dungeon I have claimed. And as you also can see, the imps are working and claiming pets for the player without his approval. This game will not be about micromanagement and giving creatures orders for them to do anything. All creatures have their own will and it is only up to you as the player to create an efficient dungeon and give all the creatures all the tools they need to be happy and strong so that they can defeat the enemy. Now I have begun building the farm. It is not so efficient right now because a lot of space is goes to waste. The most efficient rooms are those that are in a rectangular shape and only have four corners. But now I will have to do the best of the space that I have available. And the farm will be used by the imps so that they can water it, plant seeds and harvest the wheat. And the wheat will then be used to make beer to keep some of the drunks in the dungeon satisfied. Or it can be used to make bread to feed the hungry. 
If you like this game and want to help me finish it, you can uh, contribute to my Indiegogo campaign at uh, ig, that's I-G-G, dot me slash at slash dwellers, or visit my homepage rasmus-linedev.com for more information about the Dungeon Dwellers. So uh, thank you all for watching and uh, you all have a good day now.